All right, welcome back. Very pleased to have with us a guest I've had on the radio show a number of times. Now she's joining us for the first time on the TV show. Jodell Onstad is with us. She is the author of Yahweh Exists. And Jodell, how are you? I am wonderful. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for joining us. Give our viewers a little bit about your background, if you could. Sure. I am just an average person who had a lot of questions regarding the scriptural text. And I began, I didn't know it was going to be an intensive research, but it ended up being 15 years of very intensive research. Wow, that's 15 years of delving into mostly the Old Testament, correct? Yes, I, I wanted to present a firm foundation since the New Testament is based on the Old. I mm. wanted to start there first and answer those questions before I proceeded any further. So when you do, in, do this kind of exhaustive, and this took you how many years? 15. Okay, 15 years of research. Where do you research? Do you research the historical records of the day? Yes, I tried to go back. It's called comparative biblical studies. So I tried to go back as close as I could to original texts. Mm -hmm. uh, when it came to Israel's history, I would compare that with Assyrian texts. And sometimes we actually have excavated things that are even earlier than that. And um, it's nice to have that as well. All right. So when you did all this research, um, initially you told me on the radio that for a while there, you were questioning your own faith, weren't you? I, I really was. I had come across information, evidence that really challenged my faith. And I was at the point where I couldn't say that God was real, even though I had felt I had a relationship with Him. Mm -hmm. um, it was what part is make-believe and you know is in your own mind and what part can you really verify. So I started uh, working off a scholarship. I worked off of the top scholars in their fields and predominantly atheist scholars because I figured if uh, my questions could hold up to their scholarship and if I could find answers to the questions that they present, that maybe there would be truth in the text. And boy, did you find a lot. Let's uh, show our viewers here your book. And yes. this is, how many pages is this? <laughs> it tops out at 909 pages wow. without the, the uh, footnotes and without the, uh, the bibliography. And uh, folks will be able to find that? On Amazon. Okay, on yes. Amazon. So Yahweh exists. So through your studies, you're now confident God does exist. I, I am. And you know, I try to delve into a lot of issues that I, friends of mine have uh, told me that they have questions with. So I deal with a lot of validity issues. So I had to deal with a lot of the historical side and a lot of the archaeological side. So that put me um, dealing with some excavation reports. I also dealt, um, take on um, Israel Finkelstein, who is the notorious for, he's, in scholarship he's called a minimalist. And um, I take on his Bible unearthed, which he challenges that there was no ancient Israel. The scriptural text as we have it did not occur in the manner that the Bible says. And what, by going back and sticking with the actual text and reconstructing from the text, I think I've successfully demonstrated that Israel's history indeed occurred as the text is written and so, archaeology backs it so up. So the literal word of the Old Testament is 100% accurate? It, it really is. You, you find archaeologically that when you go through the periods of the judges, it matches the archaeological record. When you go even with the Exodus, we actually have, um, we have epigraphic evidence. That would be like a written evidence of a, st of a steel that refers to uh, some of the plagues of the Exodus. Mm -hmm. So there, there are, there is evidence you have to dig for it, but it is there. Um, the problem is that most scholars are so focused on this 13th century Exodus date that they kind of miss the forest for the trees. Why do they have the Exodus date wrong? Um, a lot of it came out of the early scholarship in the Holy Land. Mm -hmm. um, William Foxwell Albright, who is really um, the forefather of archaeology in the Holy Land pretty much established the dates that we have today. And those really have not changed in the last 70 years. It's just kind of become entrenched. Now, in recent years, the Bible has come under fire. Why do you think that is? Uh, a lot of it has come on the scholarship side, and that's really where I deal more on the academic side. It's come under fire because of the evidence. Um, with the 13th century Exodus date, there is no evidence for a Canaan conquest as described in scripture. There's no evidence of the Exodus. You know, one thing that I usually point out mm -hmm. and I've done this on your show is that those uh, scholars that want to say Ramses was the king of the Exodus 
we have his corpse. It was not drowned in the Red Sea. It's a very well-preserved corpse. So Ramses could not have been the king of the Exodus, but because that is the politically correct date, and that's the one that everybody wants to uphold, it really kind of shoots themselves in the foot. When so you're the really challenging conventional wisdom here. I really mm. am. I, I'm going against the grain. I'm swimming upstream. Right. But I think that the evidence will bear it out. And is your, your next uh, challenge going to be the New Testament? I am going to deal with the New Testament. I do have other books coming out on the mm -hmm. archaeology of ancient Israel mm -hmm. and the historical evidence of ancient Israel. So I am building on that first, but yes, I am tackling the New well, Testament. Well, how exciting. I mean, this has uh, been quite a journey, and now you finally reach the point where your book is uh, going to be released, and this is going to yes. be something that will probably have a lot of attention nationwide. Is that what you're hoping? I really think so. You know, I don't, I am not aware of another book that tries to take a comprehensive and qualitative approach to the Hebrew scriptures. Mm -hmm. And most scholars will say you can't you can't qualify anything, you know, everything is kind of nebulous. But yet I have yet to come across a book that tries to do that. So mine is really the first attempt and I hope others will build off of my scholarship. Well, uh, Jadel, let me just congratulate you. Thank you very much. I know much. when you've reached uh, the end of a long, long journey, it's an exciting thing. And uh, I certainly wish you the best uh, with the book and look forward to your, you know, your research to come. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much. Today, I'll start with us a book, Yahweh Exists, Amazon.com. Check it out.